Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be looking at every enemy in every game style in Mario Multiverse. This might take a while. Who out there is willing to watch this whole video to see all the differences? I want to know in the comments. First, we have the Goombas and Galoombas. I quickly made these different sections so we can compare and contrast all the enemies in different styles. Here we have Dry Bones, Koopa Troopas, Spinies, and Buzzy Beetles. Once I enter the pipe, we'll switch to a different game, and then eventually we'll come back to Mario 1 and check out some more enemies. We'll keep cycling through just like that to keep it interesting. We got bob bombs, Chain Chomps, Wigglers, and Thwomps here. Finally, for this section, we'll look at the Fire Bros, Boomerang Bros, Sludge Bros, and those pesky Hammer Bros. Uh, this section can be quite a pain when they stun me. <laughs> so now we're over to Mario 2 to check out this first section. There's our Goombas and Galoombas. And as we go, take note of your favorite style for the enemies. I want to know which style do you think the enemies look the coolest? Let me know in the comments. This is going to be a lot of fun, I feel like. It's going to be a long video. Parts will be sped up. So if there's something you see you want to take a closer look at, don't be afraid to pause. Of course, this is Mario 3 style, which I got sped up quite a bit. We've seen all these enemies pretty much before. We'll slow it down for more of the uncommon stuff. Like here in Mario World, we have the Mario World Goomba, which looks quite cool. As for the rest of the enemies, these are all things you've hopefully seen before if you're a fan of Mario. And then we have the Super Mario All-Stars version. This is a style I feel like most of us have seen. The Hammer Bros, Fire Bros, Boomerang Bros, and Sledge Bros look pretty similar in most of these game styles. Now this is quite different. We have the Mario Land 2 style. And though a lot of these enemies existed in the original game, you'll see some custom enemies too. And I just think this is one of the most unique styles in Mario Multiverse being in black and white. It just really adds a breath of fresh air and a lot of nostalgia to those of us that played this back on our Game Boys long, long ago. I wonder what it would look like if they added that ugly green filter to make it look like it was on a Game Boy screen. That might be kind of cool. Next up, we have New Super Mario Brothers. This is a game a lot of us have played. But one thing cool to note about this style is they've really improved the animations of the enemies. Things are moving much smoother now. You can even tell at this faster speed I got going on now. And then here's New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is pretty similar, but a little more HD, less pixelated. But it looks really nice. And once again, the enemy animations are getting smoother and smoother. Here we have the Super Mario Advance 4, which is basically Mario 3 All-Stars. Nothing too crazy here. Now, Lost Levels will always go through fast. It's basically Mario 1 as far as the enemies go. I don't think there's any differences in the enemies. Mega Super Mario Maker. Now, this is when you had the Mega Mushroom in Mario Maker. It changed up all the enemies and made them really funny. Uh, the Goombas got hats and mustaches. We got Backward Baseball Cap Koopa Troopas. We got Luigi riding Dry Bones. We have mustaches on Spinies and on Buzzy Beetles. Mustache Thwomp. I love his little grin there. So awesome. Hat on the Chain Chomp. bob bombs with mustaches, Wigglers with mustaches, and they even included mustaches on all of the bros. Next up, we have Wario Land 2, which completely changes the enemies. These are the Goombas and Galoombas. They respectfully steal enemies from Wario Land and replace the enemies they thought would go best over each one. We got Dry Bones, Koopa Troopas, Spinies, and Buzzy Beetles. Can you tell which is which? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Uh, there's the Thwomp there, Bob Bombs, Chain Chomps, Wigglers. I love the Chain Chomp in Wario Land style. It looks so cool, especially the Wiggler up there. And then check out the Fire Bros, Boomerang Bros, Sledge Bros, and of course those Hammer Bros. Quite a bit different. Uh, sorry, the text is kind of blocking the enemies. I really didn't know how to set this up smoothly, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. <laughs> it's just cool seeing everything in each style. Here's Yoshi's Island, which everything in Yoshi's Island just looks beautiful to me. I love this kind of colored penciled looking graphics. Super cool. A few custom enemies here and there. bob -ombs, Chain Chomps, Wigglers, Thwomps, of course. I know some of this will get repetitious. That's why I broke these up into sections. So when we go back to Mario 1, we'll kind of get a breath of fresh air and see some new enemies. All right, we're on Mario Arcade. We're getting through about half the game so far for this first section. The Goombas and Galoombas. Now we have Side Steppers. This is based on the Mario Arcade game, but it's a little more colorful and just adds a lot of cool... Uh, custom enemies. I love this style. It's one of my favorites when it comes up in Mario Multiverse. Uh, there's the Thwomps, Spa Bombs, Chain Chomps. You know, all the same stuff we've been seeing over and over again. Once in a while, you'll see an enemy that's unchanged. They just haven't completed it in the game yet. Uh, here's all the bros, which are now uh, Donkey Kong Jr., maybe? Or maybe that was 
Maybe that was Donkey Kong back there and some other monkeys throwing bananas. Okay, we got Goombas and Galoombas in Candy Arcade. This is from a fan game for Five Nights at Freddy's. I think it's Five Nights at Candy's. People always tell me this, I always forget. So the enemies are completely changed in this style to you know match this game, the Five Nights at Candy's game. bob Oms, Chain Chomps, Wigglers, and Thwomps. Look at the Wigglers, you know, the old Wiggler. But everything else has been changed there. Here you can see we do have the trash can rat. <laughs> uh, now we're getting hit by the fish from the trash can. Oh well. Now we're in the city theme. This one's really cool. So, you know, everyone's got kind of a different city vibe. We got the Goombas with the hats. We got the uh, businessman Koopa Troopa with the briefcase. We got the dry bones uh, ready for social distancing with that mask on. Uh, what else we got? We got the Nerdy Wiggler. I love the bob on with the little spinny hat. Uh, chain Chomps just have a cool bronze color. And then we got the Bros, which all look pretty much like they do in most of the other styles. All right, so this is actually new Super Mario Brothers R. Not sure what the R means. Maybe uh, reimagined or really cool, because really cool is one word. I don't know if that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, here's Dry Bones, Koopa Troopa, Spinies, and Buzzy Beetles once again. We're getting closer to the next set of enemies. So yeah, if you're still watching, let me know. You ready for the next batch of enemies? We got bob Oms, Chain Chomps, Wigglers, and uh, whatever else was back there. Uh, Fire Bros, Boomerang Bros, Sledge Bros, and Hammer Bros once again. They do look really cool in this style though. All right, so next up, this is Super Mario E World, which I think is Super Mario Enhanced World, or is it Super Mario Eats Worms? I don't know, it's S-M-E-W. I always forget what this one stands for. Someone more familiar with Mario Multiverse or this game style can let me know in the comments. Uh, this is one of my favorite styles too. It's just really vibrant colors. All the enemies really look nice in this style. This is just one of my favorites, absolutely, for sure. You'll hear me say this about many styles in this game. I love Mario Multiverse. Here's a Super Mario Bros. Special. Uh, that nice, ugly red color. Everything just looks kind of, ugh. You know, I'm not a fan of the style at all. So there we go. There we go, some negative criticism from me. But here we go, uh, now it's Super Mario Odyssey style. Everything will look pretty similar to its original form. One of the best things about this is the backgrounds, it changes keys to power moons, stuff like that. And then finally, Kirby's Adventure style for this first section. Uh, we got Goombas, Galoombas, which these are all gonna be changed into enemies from Kirby. So you gotta kinda guess what's what. Dry Bones, Koopa Troopas, Spinies, and Buzzy Beetles. And then next up, we have bob -ums, Chain Chomps, Wigglers, and Thwomps. Like the UFO Thwomp is especially cool. And then finally, all the bros. Which we get a mix of Kirby enemies. Super cool. With the Fire Bros, Boomerang Bros, Sledge Bros, and Hammer Bros all replaced. All right, so keep in mind your favorite style so far. We're back in Mario 1. Now we're going to be checking out the water enemies. If you're still watching, uh, put some cheap cheeps in the comments. And here we go with uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, which I like that fish bones a lot in that style. Mario 3, I feel like most of us have seen these enemies a million times. Uh, nothing too crazy, as well as Mario World. Uh, that cheap cheap with the wings is going crazy. Glub, 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 glub. Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, I've always loved this uh, graphic style, but it's, you know, one that we've seen a million times. But let's take a look at Super Mario Land 2. Once again, our black and white game. Pretty cool little blooper. Some really cool cheap cheeps and the fish bones as well. He's ready to kill Mario, but we're just too fast. All right, new Super Mario Brothers. And once again, these enemies are getting better and better as they add more animations. Uh, that style just looks really cool. And then new Super Mario Brothers Wii, which is very similar as I said before. Then we have Super Mario Advance 4. Once again, the Mario 3 All-Stars kind of look to it. Good old Lost Levels, looks just like Mario 1, no big deal. Then we got the Mega Super Mario Maker with the cheap cheap with the mustache. The fish bones with the hat, pretty dang awesome. Wario Land style, check out how different all the cheap cheeps and things look. Super cool, I love the fish bones. Turns into the drill nose fish. Definitely one of the coolest set of water enemies in this game. But then we have Yoshi's Island and it just looks so cool. It's just such an awesome graphic style. Uh, that fish bones looks crazy. The cheap cheeps look kind of funny, but in a cool way. <laughs> I love it. So, so cool. Now Mario Arcade, once again. Check out these cheap cheeps. They're like little uh, 
wormy crocodiles or something. I, I don't know what those are. I like them though. Whatever those are, I like them. The fish bones <laughs> looks hilarious to me. I don't know. Uh, okay, what's next? What's next? We got Candy Arcade. So we got the dog mermaids or the merm dogs or the dogfish or whatever they're supposed to be. We got a little octopus guy and just the regular fish bones. No cool enemy replacement for that yet. Now we're back to the city. I love the cheap cheeps with the captain hats. That's pretty funny, but what is the deal with this like lobster uh, parakeet looking, I don't know, what is this thing? I don't know, but I love it. Oh man, that thing is cool looking. Oop, <laughs> until he hits me in the face. All right, next up we have, uh, what are we in? We are a new Super Mario Brothers R style. We got very angry cheap cheeps in the style. They look very, very uh, mad. <laughs> I don't know, they look angry to me for some reason. Now over to Super Mario E World. Uh, this, you know, has some pretty cool stuff. I think the fish bones is my favorite of these underwater enemies. Then we have good old Super Mario Brothers Special, which is just, you know, ugly Mario 1. Really, really not a fan of the style so far. All right, next up we have the Super Mario Odyssey theme, where all the enemies look pretty similar to other styles. No big deal there. And finally, Kirby's Adventure, where that uh, <laughs> one fish has that wing. He, he just looks kind of funny. Uh, you know, this, this is just such a cool style. I love Kirby's Adventure, so I'm glad they added that. Back to Mario 1 for the next set of enemies. And as you can tell, we'll be checking out some airship type enemies. Uh, we got Monty Moles, Rocky Wrenches, Burners, Cannons, and Bill Blasters. And the Grinders, which will look a little different in some styles. Also over here to the right, I put our first boss. We're going to look at Bowser Jr. We've seen him a million times, so, you know, no big deal there. All right, Mario 2 style. Check out how different it looks. Not just the game style, but the enemies. We get a lot of custom enemies that were made to look like they fit in Mario 2 here. And I think whoever did the sprite work did a great job. Check out how crazy the grinder looks. Now look at Bowser Jr. <laughs> I had to slow that down because I killed him so fast, but he looks super cool. I like his little hat. Uh, Mario 3 style. This is stuff, you know, we've seen, especially people that play Mario Maker. Same with Mario World. Same old stuff. Then we also have Super Mario All-Stars, which looks, you know, pretty much like the other few games we've looked at so far. Uh, then we have the Mario Land 2 again. This one's pretty cool. Some of the enemies are just kind of looking black and white, really similar to the original form, but like the bullet bills and stuff look really cool here. I like the look of the grinder. But Bowser Jr. is Wall Luigi. Whoa, wall. <laughs> try that again. <laughs> Bowser Jr. looks like Waluigi, and that's pretty dang cool. All right, back to new Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and as I mentioned every time, uh, the big thing here is the smoother animations. If you're familiar with this game, it's just cool seeing this being an available style. Some of those styles that look like 3D graphics on a 2D plane. Uh, same with new Super Mario Brothers Wii here. You know, it just it's just cool. It's cool that we have that option. And then over here, we have the Super Mario Advance 4. Everything looks pretty much the same. Lost Levels looks like Mario 1. All right, now back to Mega Super Mario Maker. I love this style so much. We got Luigi's being launched from Bill Blasters. Rocky Wrenches throwing twirling Luigi's. We got a uh, Rocky Wrench with his cap popped off his head shooting out cannonballs. Pretty dang funny. And then the awesome Bowser Jr. with Luigi riding his pack, which I think is just hilarious. I love this game style in Super Mario Maker 1, so I'm glad they included it in Mario Multiverse. All right, now uh, Mario La or Wario Land 2, not Mario Land. Uh, Monty Moles, Rocky Wrenches, Burners and Cannons, and Bill Blasters. This is a really cool style because it just looks like such a different game, which it is. I like the Waluigi getting blasted through the air there, and we get Bowser Jr. replaced, of course. So this is just one of those styles that's really fun to look at because there's so many differences. Uh, then we have Yoshi's Island, which I always say I think might be my favorite. I don't know, it's just so cool. The mice up there, they replace the rocky wrenches and moles respectively. This just is beautiful. I love Bowser Jr. in the style. Pretty much everything just has this really cool, unique look to it. It's just really fun to look at. All right, then we have the Mario Arcade. Over here we have Bowser Jr. who is now Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> Pretty awesome. 
And then Candy Arcade. So this is gonna have a lot of enemies that are changed. I love the bees blasting out of the bill blasters instead of the bullet bills. The rocky wrenches are unchanged so far. We have this little cat fight, easy peasy, or maybe it was a dog fight. And then we're on the city. The city, I love the bullet bills on this one with the balloons carrying them across. I think that's really funny. Bowser Jr. holds a for sale sign. He's one of those little sign spinning guys you see in front of stores trying to get people to go in and buy stuff. And then we have, of course, New Super Mario Brothers R again. Really colorful, vibrant style. Super Mario E World. Are you guys keeping track of your favorite enemies from each style? Are you still watching? Are we gonna make it to the end of this? This took me forever to make this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. There's the Super Mario Brothers special, the ugly game style again. <laughs> We're getting closer and closer. We're more than halfway through this now. Uh, this is the Mario Odyssey theme. Which, you know, the enemies in this don't look so much different. This style stands out more for its music when you're playing it and, you know, the backgrounds and stuff. And then finally, we have Kirby's Adventure again, which is another really cool style because everything's so different. Trying to guess what's what. You can tell what the grinders are. You can tell what the moles have been changed into. Pretty cool. And then we get to fight Meta Knight instead of Bowser Jr., which is sweet. Uh, I'm doing an awful job, as you can see here. <laughs> All right, back to Mario 1, checking out some plants and Lakitu's. We got Prada plants, Lakitu's, and Munchers. Cool. We also have a spiny needle shooting across the top of the screen, which I never bothered to take out, so we'll see that every time, probably. Yep, here's Mario 2 style. We'll see in the Prada plants of Mario 2, the Lakitu also looks really cool. Mario 3 is just Mario 3. It's my favorite Mario game. I love this style, but this is stuff we've seen a million times. Same with Mario World. These are pretty common enemies. If you haven't seen these enemies in these styles, you might be living under a rock. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you just never played these games. Mario All-Stars, same thing. I mean, these, they look pretty much the same. Then we got Mario Land 2 again. Crazy different lack of two. Um, you know, it's got the respected enemies from the game. But, you know, most of these, even though they're different styles, they look very similar. Not huge differences in the character design with these enemies throughout the different games. Still pretty cool just to see it one after the other and get a good idea of how it's changed. You know, Mario Advance 4. And then over to Lost Levels again, which is Mario 1. This I almost didn't even include this style, but I thought, you know what, people might want to see it. It's just basically Mario 1. Uh, here's the Mega Mario. We do get the Luigi and a lack of two, which is pretty funny. The plants are just different colors. Then Wario Land 2 again, where things are quite, quite different. <laughs> Always hit that muncher. All right, then Yoshi's Island. I love how pipes look in Yoshi's Island. Super cool. Lack of two floating by. And uh, then, of course, we have uh, Mario Arcade again. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my mind keeping track of all these game styles. Candy Arcade! I know I put the two arcades side by side. I like the, it's not a mouse in a cloud up there. Then we have the city style. The plants aren't changed too much. Not even the Lakitu's really changed too much in that style. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. R. This reminds me of one of the other styles. I, I feel like a couple of these styles are similar, but just different enough to keep it interesting. That's Super Mario E World. Back to Super Mario Special, our favorite. It's just so beautiful. Just the prettiest game. And then Mario Odyssey once again. Uh, whereas I feel like some of these look like they're from another style in this game too. Kirby's Adventure quite different, obviously, with the pipes and the different plants being replaced with Kirby enemies. Back to Super Mario Brothers 1! Not sure why I sang that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna check out some Ghost House enemies and Magic Koopas. Boos, Stretch Boos. Short little section, but this will be a fun one. Mario 2, look how different everything looks. I love what they've done with some of the custom enemies in Mario 2 style. Mario 3, if you've played Mario Maker, you've seen this a million times. Mario World, if you've played it, you've seen a ghost house a million times. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, the All-Stars does look pretty cool. I like the, the level design more than the enemies look pretty much like they do in the other styles. But Mario Land 2, quite a bit different. Love the boo design in this. The background looks really cool. And good old new Super Mario Brothers. Over to new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I like seeing those two back to back just to see the slight improvements and changes in the backgrounds. Then Mario Advance 4. 
Very cool background on this one. Nothing to do with the enemies. I just wanted to point that out. Lost Levels, which once again, just looks like Mario 1. Then once again, Mega Super Mario Maker. I love the big Mario nose on the boo. Uh, kind of a Luigi looking Kamek or Magikoopa if you prefer. And then we got Wario Land 2, which just looks so different. It's funny how these stages I put together quickly to showcase all the enemies don't look that great in some styles, but styles like this, it looks like I designed this masterpiece just because the backgrounds and stuff are so cool. And then we have Yoshi's Island style. The boos at Yoshi's Island style are so funny looking. They look really happy to be a boo. <laughs> a lot of them look mean in other game styles. I love the boos in this particular style because when they hide their faces, they kind of vanish because of the background. That is just really awesome. Uh, then next up, we have Candy Arcade. The boos are very creepy. Probably the creepiest boos of any game style in Mario Multiverse. Heading over to the city, <laughs> we get these boos with these Mario masks they cover their face with. I think that's hilarious. I don't know where that comes from. If you do, let me know. I think that's just fantastic, though. All right, so new Super Mario Bros. are. Enemies are just a little bit different in that style. Uh, Super Mario E World. Kind of reminds me of All-Stars a little bit sometimes, but just a little different. And then Super Mario Bros. Special. Uh, I kind of like this blue, I guess. I don't know, that, that style. Not a big fan of it. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey is just awesome because the Ghost House becomes the Cap Kingdom. And then Kirby's Adventure, where, you know, Magikoopa's Boos and Stretch Boos are all now enemies from Kirby, and it's awesome. And that was a quick round there we're getting closer and closer to the end we've reached the castle enemies we're getting towards the very end of the video uh skewers lava bubbles and fire bars if you're still watching give me a lava bubble in the chat why not put your favorite emoji in the chat so there's you know boom boom and bowser we've seen this form of boom boom and bowser if you played mario maker you've seen boom boom if you played mario one or you just are alive you've seen bowser and mario one style hopefully Here's the Skewers Lava Bubbles and everything in Mario 2 style. Boom Boom gets a custom little thing here. He looks pretty cool. I wish it was Birdo or something, honestly. I wish more of the Mario 2 style enemies were from Mario 2 instead of just custom looking enemies. But I do love the Mario 2 Bowser. That is so cool looking. Mario 3, uh, you know, everything's pretty much what you would expect uh, if you played Mario 3. Uh, you've seen that Mario World, same thing. Uh, we get the Boom Boom from Super Mario Maker. And then, of course, the Clown Carless Bowser from Mario Maker. And then over to Super Mario All-Stars. You know, this is a really cool style. But the enemy designs, they're going to look pretty similar to the previous games. Nothing too crazy. However, Mario All-Stars Bowser is super duper cool looking. I love him. That's one of my favorite Bowser designs ever. I don't know what it is. His hair just looks like fire. He just looks cool in that style. Mario Land 2. I love the uh, skewers. I mean, the little Wario fists that try to crush you. Boom Boom. Looks awful Boom Boom-ish. He's a, he's a Boom Boom for sure. As far as I as far as I can tell. <laughs> and then we get Wario instead of Bowser, which is amazing. Wario's probably wondering why does it say Bowser behind me? I'm Wario. Well, that's because I just made this real quick and switched game styles over and over again. New Super Mario Brothers. We get old fashioned boom boom, so we'll skip him real quick. Uh, Bowser looks really cool. He's got that overly pixelated look, but anyone that loves this game style just remembers playing New Super Mario Brothers, you know, on their DS. Uh, just really cool to see that. Makes the Wii style look really nice once you get to it. Boom Boom still hasn't been added, sadly. Uh, but Bowser, there he is again, looking a little sharper. Uh, unless that was the same model. I don't know. I'm watching this on a small screen as I commentate. Uh, it took me a long time to record all this, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see some more Mario Multiverse showcases, let me know in the comments. And there's good old Bowser uh, in whatever style we're in at this point. <laughs> Where are we at now? Okay, that's probably Lost Levels. Here's Mega Super Mario Bros, which has the lava bubbles with mustaches. I love Boom Boom, because when you squash him, his mustache goes nuts. His wiggle, 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 wiggle mustache. So wiggly mustache Boom Boom, definitely awesome. Over to Bowser, who becomes Bowser with Peach on his back. I think that is so cool looking. This game style should be used more in Mario Multiverse just because it's so funny. All right, so then we have Wario Land 2. Those uh, 
skewers look very scary. I love when they replace Boom Boom with an enemy from the respective game. And then here we go, we get hit by a giant sword. But we can take you out and sadly ourselves because we <laughs> fell in the lava, dang it. All right, Yoshi's Island, awesome. Some bubbly, bubbly, bubbly lava. And we get Boom Boom replaced, of course, that's super cool. Once we kill, quote, Boom Boom, then we get crazy giant Bowser. <laughs> he looks so cool. I know, I say so cool a lot, but that, that's just, you know, how I describe everything that I love. So cool. Uh, okay, we're on Mario Arcade style. Boom Boom becomes uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Is, I, I'm not sure, is that who that's supposed to be? Uh, and then we have Donkey Kong! And he throws barrels at you. He actually fits in so good over Bowser. I wish the barrels animation could be different, but that's just how stuff animates uh, in Mario 1. Here's Candy Arcade, so no Boom Boom replacement yet, sadly. But we do get a Bowser replacement, a giant evil dog versus a cat! It doesn't seem fair, does it? Because obviously the cat's going to win, because cats are feisty. Even though I'm more of a dog person, cats are feisty. We got the city style where Mario has his little gun here. He can shoot up Boom Boom with his business tie and his little mustache. <laughs> it looks like he would try to sell you a car or something. Then we got Cool Guy Bowser with his sunglasses. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to shoot him. He just looks like a cool dude. I don't know. I'd just be like, hey, you want to go hang out? All right. And uh, now we are on New Super Mario Bros. R, uh, which has a really unique Bowser. Very cool. He's got some depth to him. Good shading on that Bowser. Uh, Super Mario E World. I love the background in this style. But we're not talking about backgrounds. We're talking about uh, enemies. And this Boom Boom looks kind of like the Mario World one, but a little creepier, I think. Moving on to a Bowser. This is a cool form of Bowser. And he's dead. Sorry about that, Bowser. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Special in this style. I do kind of like this checkerboard pattern on Bowser. I'll give it that one. This is the one section where uh, Super Mario Bros. Special stood out to me. I love this just because I love this kingdom in Mario Odyssey, but we're talking about the enemies, not the kingdoms. Uh, boom, boom, you're dead. Give me a power moon, go through the door and fight Bowser. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, walk through you and kill you now. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right, and Kirby's Adventure, our final game style, final set of enemies. Skewers are just kind of recolored. Fire bars are fire bars. They have little stars instead of fireballs. Uh, we get a different boom boom, which is awesome. And then finally, King DD instead of Bowser, which is just fantastic. Love it. And that wraps up our look at all the enemies in Super Mario Multiverse. Let me know your favorite set of enemies in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to thumbs it up. This one took forever to make. Thank you guys so much for being part of BTG. Don't forget to sub and hit the notification bell if you haven't yet and you enjoy the content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.